jobs over their refusal to be vaccinated. The Queensland Supreme Court has found mandatory COVID vaccination for police officers and nurses unlawful and in breach of their human rights. The ruling has been described as a huge legal victory for those frontline workers who lost their jobs over their refusal to be vaccinated. This has been a monumental decision. Dozens of police officers and health workers have been vindicated in a 115-page judgment handed down today by Justice Glenn Martin. He has found that departing Queensland Police Commissioner Katarina Carroll was unlawful under the Human Rights Act when she issued a mandatory vaccination order in December 2021. Justice Martin said, I'm not satisfied. The police commissioner has demonstrated she gave proper consideration to the human rights that may have been affected by her decisions. Now, a similar finding was made against Queensland Health Director General John Wakefield, that his department's equivalent vaccination policy was of no effect and that paramedics couldn't have been forced to have the injection. The Supreme Court finding follows legal action by 74 government workers supported by high-profile anti-vaxxer and billionaire Clive Palmer. We can today celebrate as well. We can celebrate because this is the first precedent in the Western world where the trial has gone the full distance, where the evidence has come before the court, and the court has resoundingly said that all of the directions made by government, in essence, are an abuse of process, abuse of power, and a trampling of human rights. Many others say they've lost their jobs for taking the same stance, including former nurse Ella Leach, speaking to Sky News last month. There's no sensible reason why they would continue with this action. We know that our hospitals are screaming out for staff. We're seeing um, ambulances ramped outside, people dying in ambulances. Our rural areas are really suffering, um, but they, they just continue and they will not engage on this issue. They, um, I don't know why they bothered to drop the mandate if they were going to continue firing people. I'm one of at least 50 since September 25. The Supreme Court finding is expected to pressure the government to consider calls to compensate those who've suffered the human rights violation.